Hello everyone, I'm Javin and welcome to this quick episode 2 of how to build a post-production house. Uh, so I'm making this little quick episode because to, uh, just yesterday, this arrived in the mail which is uh, going to be a new nest and I'm also ordering a, a bit, 10 gigabit upgrade to this, uh, networking upgrade to this nest uh, so that we're going to use this as our starting step uh, to move our office to a 10 gigabit networking workflow and this, goes, this storage is also Besides the networking upgrade, this is also going to enable us to upgrade our storage in the future to um, need to about twice with twice the number of hard drive base that our current NAS, uh, which I sh uh, showed in the last video. So uh, our current NAS has four base. This one has eight base, and uh, also it has a PCIe expansion slot for a future 10 gigabit card, which is still on the way here. So why not uh, we just open it up and we'll show you what it's like. So right off the bat we have uh, basically some fairly basic uh, cables like networking. They gave us two net network cables and power cable and the key that will uh, be used to lock the, drives, the drive base in place. And now well, let's take this out and see the whole thing. So I got the quick instead quick uh, guide out of the way which I'm probably not gonna use this because I'm already very familiar with using Synology devices. And now this is the actual unit itself. Let me open this up. Now this is I gotta admit this really looks uh pretty amazing out of the box. It looks massive and it's gonna it looks like it's really going to be able to store a lot of the stuff. So, so this is the, the basic unit, uh, the 8 bay unit, but uh, if you look behind, you will notice that there's uh, four uh, still standard gigabit LAN port, but uh, when we get to the upgrade, we will actually, this is the PCI expansion slot that we will be using to install the new card that will enable us to the upgrade uh, later. Okay, so I open up the this casing so that I can just take a look at how to use this. Uh, this is the PCI slot that we'll be using, and I also unscrew this little tab here. Okay, and also, uh, obviously, I'm not gonna deploy this now because uh, uh, it will, it's kind of pointless unless we actually have the 10 gigabit network card inside. So I'm gonna just use a test hard drive to install on this thing, and later out of curiosity. Uh, the, the, uh, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna try to see if this uh, uh, Asus uh, 10 gig network card will actually work on this thing. I've heard reports that it doesn't work, and this you only can use supported uh, 10 gigabit network cards to use on this thing. But you know, I'm just gonna just first for fun. I'm just gonna see how it works later. Okay, so now I've actually installed the Asus 10 gig network card, and I can confirm that it doesn't work. So I just search it again, and yeah, it still it still does not show up on the Synology Assistant here. So I guess this means that you can't just take any 10 gig network card. It has to be one of those that is supported by Synology, and so I have to wait until my official 10 gig Synology card uh, network cards arrives in the mail. So I think that's gonna do it for this episode. And we'll see you next time, hopefully, when the 10 gig card finally comes and we can actually do some real uh, migration and testing. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, like and subscribe and catch you next time. Bye!